Mountaineers lead 21 to 16. And folks, this is going to be it. 13th play of the drive. Will it be lucky or unlucky? Number 13 for the Hokies. Fourth down and goal. About eight inches away from the goal line. Randall is under his center. Power eye formation. Randall barking signals. Hands the ball up. Suggs is stopped short. West Virginia gets the football. That was Grant Wiley. Grant Wiley stopped Lee Suggs with 3.51 to go. And there is pandemonium on the Mountaineers' sideline as the West Virginia defense has held Virginia Tech, taking the ball over on downs inside the one-yard line. They've got the ball to the 11-yard line. They're definitely in field goal range here. It's second down and 10. Again, out of the gun with two receivers to each side. And Randall takes the snap. Dropping back to throw, looking for Wilford, looks to his left, still running back there, plenty of time, and now the clock down to 15, he throws in the end zone, it's intercepted by Brian King, Brian King intercepted the football with 12 seconds to go, Brian King has intercepted the football in the end zone with 12 seconds to go, and the West Virginia Mountaineers are 12 seconds away from knocking off number 12, Virginia Tech, Brian King. The junior from Damascus, Maryland, with his second interception of the season and the biggest of his entire football career has intercepted the football in the end zone with 12 seconds left. It was only a matter of time, we told you. Brian Randall has had interception problems all season and tonight on the very last play from scrimmage for Virginia Tech, West Virginia picked him off in the end zone. It was Brian King that picked it off in the end zone. He immediately slid down onto the turf, and Virginia Tech out of timeouts cannot stop West Virginia now. They'll need to take a knee, and West Virginia will have knocked off the Virginia Tech Hokies, rated number 12 in the nation.